Hey guys, Michael here from MichaelSherlock.com. I'm here with the iPhone 4, 32 gigabyte. I finally got mine. It is the 29th of June, Tuesday, so I was able to go to an AT&T store. They ran out of their initial shipment in the morning, but they gave me a reservation slip for their second shipment. They gave me a call when it was in. I went over to the store. Unfortunately, had to wait a little bit longer, and then was able to get my iPhone 4. I actually needed to do an upgrade and swap for the family plan to get the discount, and the guy at the store was actually pretty competent and was actually able to do that without messing around with SIM cards and such. He was able to do it all on the computer, which was good. So let's go ahead and uh, get this open. Of course, just the picture of the iPhone 4, and then just the same stuff we've seen in the past. So I'm going to go ahead and open it nicely. In case you ever want to resell your phones, obviously people don't care too much, you know, if it's open like this. But just keeping the plastic wrap actually on the box just shows them that you take good care of their products. So they know that if the box is in good condition, then the phone will be in good condition as well. So that's just the reason why I do it like this. People have asked me in the past why I do it like that. So I just thought you'd like to know. So there is the device. It's in black, of course. feels very thin. So let's just look what else is in the box. The SIM removal tool is apparently no longer included. Obviously not that big of a deal. You could just use whatever, but they have that. And then your standard set of accessories. You have your power adapter. You have your USB sync cable, USB to 30 pin, as well as the headphone with mic. So let's just give you a brief tour of the new iPhone 4. So you have your front face and camera for FaceTime video chat, as well as your, Excel, your uh, proximity sensors up here, as well as your earpiece. Here's your retina display, super high quality, and your home button. On the bottom you have your 30 pin dot connector, and one of these is your speaker and one is your mic. So iPhone users out there, if you think one of your speakers is broken, it's not. One of these is a microphone. Here is where the micro sim goes, and the now infamous uh, antennas are here and here on the sides. You have your volume up and down as well as your mute or silent key. On top you have your power key, uh, a microphone. This is the second one for noise cancellation. You also have the, like I said, the one down here and your headphone jack and another antenna. Now one thing to note is apparently the front is made out of Gorilla Glass, so that gl is about 30% stronger than regular glass, so the screen is pretty strong. Now the back is also made out of glass, but at this point we're not exactly sure if this is regular glass or also Gorilla Glass, because we've seen some reports of scratching on the back and not the front, so there's some evidence to indicate that the back is not the same strength as the front glass, so that may be something to keep in mind when you're looking for protection for your phone. So you have your Apple logo. Also gone from the back is the size. Previously it would say 16, 8, 32 gigabyte, whatever. No longer says that on the back. And again, flash and your 5 megapixel 720p recording camera. So there's just an unboxing and hardware tour of the new iPhone 4. If you want to pick one up, uh, you can get them from Apple, Walmart, Radio Shack, Best Buy, and AT&T. Thanks for watching and have a good day.